Yes, the fourth annual Justice Film Festival goes right away here in Red Deer. I'm joined by Karen Horsley. Karen, what is the Justice Film Festival? Well, the Justice Film Festival is a film showing um, of films that um, deal with a number of social justice issues. Um, the Red Deer Justice Film Festival actually is a part of the Marta Loop Justice Film Festival, which was uh, started in Calgary a number of years ago, and since has uh, branched out, and I think there are about half a dozen Justice Film Festivals happening across Canada at this point. So you guys have recently just taken this over, the uh, Hearts of Women uh, group here in Red Deer. Uh, this is the second year. Now, how did you guys get involved with this film festival? Well, the Hearts of Women are just a group of about oh, 12 to 14 um, women, local women here in Red Deer. Um, and we actually uh, are connected with Cause Canada, uh, which is an NGO out of Canmore. Through working with them a couple of years ago, we were asked to volunteer to help out with the Justice Film Festival at that point. So that was four years ago was the first Justice Film Festival here in Red Deer. After volunteering for a couple of years, um, they approached us as far as taking on um, the Justice Film Festival ourselves. Excellent. So now the one thing that everybody needs to know about this is that there is no admission cost, but you are asking for a donation. Yes, uh, we. It, it is free, um, no admission for um, all of the films, although the film festival, to put it on, certainly doesn't come without costs. And so we are very grateful. Uh, we do have some sponsors that um, keep us going year by year, but any donations um, are certainly welcome. So there are nine films coming to Red Deer this year. Any film in particular standing out to you that you're like, boy, I'm dying to see that one? You know, um, we really take a lot of time in choosing the films um, and it's hard for me to actually pinpoint one film in particular. Uh, we try to, when we choose the films, we try to choose films that deal with both local and international issues. We try to choose films uh, that are of a variety. Um, so, so some actually deal with some environmental issues and, um, and others more the social justice issues. The Vanishing of the Bees, um, which really deals uh, with more an environmental issue, but certainly very powerful and uh, a lot of good messages as far as um, small things that we can be doing ourselves um, that uh, can make an impact on some of these issues. So with it being such hot topics, is there maybe an age, you know, nobody wants to bring maybe their four-year-old to watch mm -hmm. something of this magnitude, I, I would suspect? You know, um, we do try, we did, that is something else that we consider when we're choosing the films. Um, we do try to choose films that will um, appeal more to the younger and the older um, person. Um, but yes, most of them, a lot of them are quite dark, uh, to be honest. And so I would, you know, myself, not really for younger children, um, but certainly those adolescents and upward, I think, would all find uh, something uh, of interest in the films, that's for sure. That's coming up here next weekend here in Red Deer at the Central Alberta Theatre.